honest with each other, so I need to tell you that I recently discovered something about myself. Okay. I'm in love. What? With the new Fusion Festival menu at Shoeless Joe's. Kale and ancient grain salad, chorizo and sweet pear flatbread, and sticky toffee pudding. It's flavor like I've never experienced. Phew. Hey, let's go to Shoeless Joe's tonight. Oh, I knew you'd understand. Also, cooks don't go with sandals. Ah, uh, really? Discover something new with the new Shoeless Joe's Fusion Festival menu. On now for a limited time only. City News Time, 356. Now the 680 News Business Report is Richard Southern. Well, Diana, two weeks until the royal wedding between Prince Harry and Meghan Merkel. And whether or not you're, you're interested in that or not, you may be interested in how much it's going to cost for getting this information in today. The palace says the royal wedding will uh, cost it about 32 million British pounds, 55 million Canadian. Now the... Uh, the House of Windsor is going to pay for this out of their own pocket, so it's not going to impact British taxpayers. But the breakdown of the wedding financially is pretty interesting. For food and drink, they're going to shell out $686,000. That includes forty-five grand just for sausage rolls and tea. The lemon elderflower cake will cost $86,000. Meghan Merkel's dress will need to go for half a million. Uh, music, $430,000, which will include a DJ and live band. There'll be 20 silver-plated trumpeters, which will announce the event. Hundred grand for that. Invitation, $290,000. And the flower bill will total $157,000. Now, the average Canadian wedding this year costs almost $32,000. All right, meantime, uh, Toyota reportedly getting set to spend big money on its Ontario assembly plant. Bloomberg News reports that Toyota will shell out $1.4 billion to expand its Canadian operations in an effort to build a RAV4 sport utility vehicle. Its Cambridge factory will be retooled to produce the RAV4. The assembly plant it has in Woodstock has already been making that uh, crossover SUV. Uh, this expansion of Cambridge will create 450 jobs. This is the latest sign that automakers are moving away from sedan and almost exclusively now making SUVs and crossover SUVs. That's where the market is. The RAV4 is the player of the selling vehicle in North America. On the market, the head of the bell with the Fiat Taxes is up 100. 9.2730. The guy is up 315 at 24,245. The guy is up 